Upgrades Hello, UI everybody. Change. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Relay Station. To the podcast. Can you all hear me? And are, yeah. is everything okay? Can we? Are you okay? Are, are, we, are we okay? Are we okay? <laughs> Nobody knows. We're Star Citizen backers. We're not okay. No, we're not. All right, chat. Help me decide on what Aries to buy. None of them. I want one. <laughs> I'm, I'm upgrading one of my mini fighters that I don't care about to have uh, with a little bit more utility. That you don't care about? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it depends because remember that it bespoke. So you cannot, uh, when you use like the 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 Aries that has the laser cannon, the uh, is you cannot remove that laser cannon. That laser cannon is fixed. I'm cool with it. it I'm cool. Um, that's that's why I'm different. having a difficult time deciding between the two. Because I, I don't know which one that I want. Do you want the Bert or the Pew? Everybody is saying... Bert well, or Pew. I say everybody. Two people are saying the Inferno. But listen, I love... <laughs> listen. The Ion matches my Star Runner, though. I was going to say, like, you do get a... Mm, a another power plant and another cooler if i'm not mistaken on yeah. the ions mm -hmm. on the ion but you, get, you get heavier armor and another on the... shield too right i don't think you get an extra shield no it's more shields on the ion more armor on the inferno. oh is it okay yeah yeah there's more armor on the inferno um hello everybody well since we're already talking about the areas how about i just jump straight into show and tell go for it Yes, yes, chat. Uh, I am deciding between Daka and Pew Pew. Yes, I am. <laughs> you know, we're not going to talk about jump points right now, so I will remove I the mean, jump point video. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to do that. Everybody loves jump points. Um, so they're cool, I guess. <laughs> they're they're, <laughs> they're cool, I guess. Yeah, all right. It looks like the inside of a colon. Why am I getting... Uh, apologies. Oh, hello, hello yeah. Tweeb. Um, David is uh, is tending to his baby. Yes. He uh, sure so is. he could not make it this... His bab his, one of his baby childs. One of his baby childs. The, the babiest of the baby childs. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. Yeah? All right. Um, oh, my God, Big George, you're right. I have the advocacy skin for my Star Runner. You're absolutely right. <laughs> You've... This is the worst. <laughs> I have so many... I have so many pros and cons for both. You can't have that many pros and cons. It's not healthy. All right. So let's start off with um, this guy right here, which is way too big a picture. Let me uh, fix that up for us here. Woo! Yeah, totally. Doing it live. There's got to be some mumble rapper that made the, uh, the, the line like, I'm the pro, you're nothing but a con. Somebody had to have done that. Yeah. We're Somebody fixing it live. It. Okay, just 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 for for reference, the reason why. And hi, I'm the car now. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, just for reference, um, I, I can make myself smaller if that helps. Hold on. Oh, I wish I had this. Oh, life. oh, I totally screwed up the. Uh, yeah, nice. That's good. Uh, so, yeah. so Bryce Green is Jake. The Astro Pub is. The Astro you. Pub. Yeah. Okay. It's me. Oh. Okay. Uh, Jake is the Astro Pub, and I'm Bryce Arena. It's perfect. There we go. We're all we'll the just wrong we're just gonna change identities here on this screen. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I I wiped out my um I wiped out my OBS profile 
by accident <laughs> and so we, we're kind of having some having having a moment right now that's okay that i was gonna um, say the reason why everything is kind of weird is because because um the car he had a he had a senior moment and um uh, decided to to fix his computer and then uh, forgot to sit back up everything so everything's fucked <laughs> i actually thought i'd backed up obs and then it told me uh no no <laughs> you did not <laughs> no 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 oh no no no, no. um wow you only got like the top like what ha- uh two thirds of jake's head it's good oh it's all right shrink it down is this better you. there we go it's just really tall there we go uh, I'll, I'll lean back like this all right <laughs> so what do you guys think about the aries i love it i it's got a big old swinging peen and i love yep. it yep <laughs> it's so true <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, it looks like uh, a, a Star Runner, so I that's what made me. Yeah, I'm cool with him. it. Um, so, so I can pew and Bert at the same time. That's, it's, that's fair. it's a ship. Maybe. That's that's my opinion. It's it's a ship. It's yeah, a ship. I can't even remember who said I, it to me, but somebody at Citizen Con was like, "We need a sniper ship," and I'm like. Was someone listening from CIG? What's going on here? Well, there's there's two things. I think there's, there's actually some lag time with CIG in terms of ideas for ships and when ships are getting made. And I've noticed this before. Um, but one of the biggest things um, for um, uh, in terms of uh, thing people things that people wanted was a space A10. They yep. wanted a, a ship that was designed to take out heavy armored vehicles on the ground. Um, and they also wanted, uh, people wanted sniper ships. So they just combined the two and made two variants. One is a sniper ship that kills capitals. Uh, and the other one is a ground support vehicle, basically. Mm -hmm. But, but they, they basically combined two ideas that the community had. So CIG, if you're listening, multi-crew bounty hunting ship, just going to say it. Crusader Industries Bebop. Isn't it like the Cutlass? Mm. Kind of, but the Cutlass is two crew, two crew members. I'm talking like two or three with like a bank of uh, of uh, cells? Uh, of uh, like cells plus like an armory, so you can keep your weapons and stuff like that, and like a like uh, uh, you know like a place like a like a place where bounty hunters would live in and then travel around and do do. So basically, with. a multi crew version of the Avenger. Like kind a, of a bigger, but like we need a bigger it, penguin. Exactly. It, it's like a, an adventure. Penguin. You could call an it Avenger, an emperor penguin. The emperor penguin. <laughs> the emperor. The um something between a cutlass and a Connie size, or something that's about this Connie size, because we don't have a lot of Connie size ships. Anyways, that my, my thought on the on the on this ship is that it is, I'm, I am underwhelmed. But I I, if this was ship was straight to flyable, I'd have been like, eh, cool, it's straight to flyable. But the fact that it's a, another fighter that's a concept ship i'm just gonna cool where's my mole uh it is, <laughs> yeah, where is coming it? it's supposed to come out with uh 3.8 live i want to buy one well you can buy it when 3.8 goes live that's oh. the rest the rest the word anyway all right and i'll tell you I when it's gonna now. go live it's gonna go out uh, go live on su- sunday december 22nd but yeah the day yeah. before they go on break <laughs> yeah probably yeah uh um Actually, that take, that's a good opportunity. Um, I'm actually going to cycle through a few more pictures here, and try not. Uh, let's see if we see if I can avoid breaking it this time. What do you think? You think my chances? No. Nope. Try it. Yeah, it's totally not going to work, is it? Uh... <laughs> well, it didn't break completely. That's good. Yeah, I I'm kind of uh, in agreement with Minevira. I never know. Is that a fighter? Name. Um, I don't think it's a fighter. I think it's more of like a freaking mortar. It's, gonna, it's like it's an gonna artillery ship. Fighter. Yeah. Well, it's it's a fighter. Like the Cutlass is a fighter, even though it's not really a fighter. the The Connie is a sort of fighter, but it's, it's like it's not a fighter. It's a rectangle. Space superiority. The, 
it's mm. it's a, it's a so this ship is a square and fighters are rectangles. You know, it's still a rectangle. You know what's going to look really cool rectangle. on this ship? <laughs> that huh? that weapon protrudes well into your field of view when you're when mm -hmm. you're flying. Yeah. You'll, you'll get the mo the coolest view of your weapon firing. Oh, as yeah. You, yeah, it's going to be really That's cool. kind of why I'm <laughs> leaning towards the ion, is because... <laughs> oh, it, will also, it, will, it will also blind you. No, oh, yeah. I, I want to totally. be, like, more pro in a more practical sense, I do want to warn people, if you're interested in getting this, I'm not stopping you from getting it. I'm just saying there's a couple of things that have been mentioned in the brochure, which are 100%, like, in-game marketing speak which are not to be held at uh CG will never hold up to entirely the 38 shots per per minute uh, no. thing of of ion that is no. not that is not a a, no, 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 a, a no, no, promise no. that is not a promise and maybe it, with the best components and with your maybe. ship turned off with everything but that maybe but on top of that you also got to remember that um, CIG has prone to do swing ups and downs in terms of balance and alpha. So one oh, patch totally. could be absolutely, absolutely like one shot hits, uh, kills a kills a hammerhead, and the next shot, next time, it one shot wouldn't even do, wouldn't scratch an Aurora shields, you know. So, and uh, this reminds me very much of the Glaive and the Scythe because they both have two size five or size six guns that are like or size six guns, which are their primary armament, and they don't have really anything else that works. And everyone hates them now because they don't work very well. So just be careful when you purchase this ship because this the ship is likely not going to be anything but like a mantis is like it's going to be good for one thing, and it'll well, do that thing pretty well. These are very, these but are, it's a bomber. These are very obviously specifically designed. Like there, there's this isn't a this isn't a versatile ship. It's a ship that's it, literally a, built around yeah. a weapon. It's like yeah. this weapon is designed to do this thing, and that, and the ship just flies the weapon around. And that's it. Here's it's, it's actually yeah. designed to hit above its weight. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is designed to hit above its weight class. Oh. For for reference, a size seven gun. Um, the only ships we know that have size sevens, other than this, are capital ships. Yep. The Idris, yep. the the Javelin. They use them on their on their anti capital ship um, um, turrets. You know what this reminds me of in terms of like other sci-fi? It's totally, <laughs> totally, a sorry, totally a defiant type ship. Yes, it's like this little ship package, with it's way, like, it's like... way too much firepower attached to it. Um, yeah. so here's why I want it. Was uh, as you know, my favorite ship in this game is the Prowler. Yes, because it speaks to exactly how I'm going to play this game as a ship collector. Uh, I will collect ships uh, in in legal ways until I can't, and then I'm going to take them from you. <laughs> uh, the Prowler lets me get on board and uh, and take it, but I need to disable it first. Yes. A nice clean shot to the engines from one of these guys would uh, <laughs> do the trick, I think. Yeah. So, so that's that's kind of my whole imagining of uh, of using this guy. I have to take a moment out to say thank you to Carbide Edge for his twenty four month subscription streak. Yep. Thank you very much. Just about from the beginning. Yep. Um, uh, very much appreciate it. I think I think Bree Serena here has the record, I believe. Yeah, he's like a twenty-seven um, months or something. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. He's got the little out. type type in the chat. He's got the first uh, the first tag in our chat, I think. <sighs> but yeah, um, um, I just I... want to know how much the mole is because I only want to spend. A, a, I just bought a, a computer, so <laughs> I don't. I want to. I want to. I want to buy a ship, but. I don't want to spend five hundred dollars on ships right now. <laughs> so this this shot was my favorite shot of all the ones that they put out for the Aries. Twenty eight mm -hmm. months. Twenty eight. Twenty eight months. Nice. That is from the moment we became an affiliate. <laughs> way back when. 
Was it? That's like last week, right? Yep. Maybe that. Maybe it was that month. It was like it was like within the first week. You were one of our first subscribers. Wow. But you have yeah, you have the first tag there. Um, te- why? Oh, I think I have to maintain the streak. The stri- the streak, the streak. Uh, but I don't know why I don't have it because I was our. Thanks, first. Miles. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> Miles, only twenty six months here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Thank yeah. You, I don't know. I like. So here's here's the thing that this this uh ship sale has has really spoken to me. Uh, Crusader might be my favorite human manufacturer. They're pretty great. There's I a lot love of every ships. one of their ships. Like the Starliner? Yeah. Oh, dude. Um, it is backwards. This is the one thing about <laughs> ships that I agree with David on, is that it is backwards. Uh, however, um, I love that ship. It's a big old space whale. Does anybody else think the Genesis Starliner is going to be the last ship to be made? Because only like yes. under, only like a hundred yes. people yeah. bought it. <laughs> yes. I'm so waiting. Th- I'm waiting for that ship to come out. I want There's that ship be- to come out. There are two ships which are going to be made very last. The Endeavor yep. <laughs> and the Genesis. The Endeavor Re- because because it's literally the size of a bangle and it's getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's and enormous. the Genesis, the Genesis, because nobody cares about the Genesis. <laughs> and it's Jared. I kind of love pen, the Genesis. Pen project. I yeah. like the Genesis, but the problem is, is that like, uh, the, uh money talks, shit walks. Um, and yep. nobody bought the Genesis. Nope. Like the only other ship that has as like like that's even close to the number of, uh, that the Genesis has was I think the one hundred maybe, um, in terms of purchases. But I really feel yeah, like the one hundred probably made more money. I think the one hundred did better than that. Per- I personally. think the Redeemer is probably going to be one of the last. Oh ships. yeah, no, that's, yeah. I think the Redeemer will be done before those two, but I definitely think the Redeemer is not coming out until after the game's released. So, so really? that that highly depends on if they keep it an Aegis ship or not. So yeah, if they it's probably keep it... it's it's gonna probably get completely redesigned, so it doesn't look anything like it is now, and it's gonna be a different, probably different different ship manufacturer, which means that it's gonna be both those things are the things that people wanted to purchase it in the first place for. So that's yeah. why they've been delayed on working on it because why don't they they're just, gonna piss everybody off. Why don't they just make the ship as it is? Be like, because it doesn't won't there. it won't function in, in atmosphere it won't function in the in the physics engine it wasn't built with with uh flying and star citizen in mind you can put thrusters computer. wherever you want you can make it fly <laughs> i have would, faith in them it, yeah you, <laughs> they could and it would look and act like a piece of garbage and uh <laughs> people would get angry about it anyways i mean That's it is a piece of garbage true. it All is right, a boys. flaming piece of garbage and i hate i hate it and i hope it dies i hate the redeemer um, all right I have to give up one of my two Anvil ships, and I don't know which one I'm going to give up. Uh, the Arrow or the Hawk? The Hawk. Hawk. Really? Arrow's, Arrow's got a, a better alpha strike. Okay, uh, the Hawk in is... Terms of, the Hawk... Uh, well, do you have another bounty hunting ship? Uh, Yeah, my Avenger. Yeah, no, give up the Hawk. Okay. <laughs> I have a, I, well, it's the, it's the Titan Renegade, but it, it can still work as... Is that I could just put a freaking stasis pod in the cargo bay. Yep. Um, okay, just, the Hawk. Or just do what you do now, which is apparently just knock them out, and then just uh, uh, soon you'll be able to drag them. So knock them out, drag them into the cargo bay, and just have someone that, sitting there. They're so going to wake up, yeah, because you stand. Then you just have someone in the back. Just knock them out again. <laughs> <laughs> Give them, give them, give them repeated yeah. concussions, the, and then be like, the, "Oh, they're they're, they're a vegetable <laughs> now. They're, listen, they're a vegetable." They're a vegetable you... now, and they're barely in a coma. But you said alive or dead, and double the bounty for alive. They're alive. You said alive. You didn't say how alive. <laughs> Hart might only have a couple hundred more beats, but he's still here. <laughs> All right, he's, he's alive. Um, I also have uh, the. It finally came in. I don't. I don't have it with me because it's actually at um, on my desk at at, at work. Um, but. I bought the um, the JR Fabrication uh, Arrow model, awesome. and it is amazing. 
Um, we need to the, see pictures and stuff. Well, it's not built. Well, it's oh. like half built. Um, I'm slowly putting it together. What are you on doing my at work? Break. Are you do actually doing work at work? Come on. I do it on my lunch <laughs> break. I have an hour. I eat my food in ten minutes. What else am I gonna do? No, I'm saying, um, I'm saying you should build it while you're supposed to be working. <laughs> oh, I mean, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Um, oh, but but it's amazing. Like the the it's a takuetsu box that it comes mm -hmm. in. Um, it's uh, it like it comes with like this really beautiful brochure. Like like the like the ones that we get handed at CitizenCon levels of good. Mm -hmm. Um, it came in a Kovalex shipping box. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was Kovalex. What? Stay whatever. with me. Kovalex. Jan. <laughs> Teverin. Teverin. I hate the fact that they say Teverin instead of Tavarin. It's Tavarin. <laughs> Everyone says Tavarin. Whatever happened to the Kurthak? They're still there Speaking somewhere. Of... That's like right. a that's a that's a distant That's a post release type that we deal. will get. Yeah. 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 They're gonna they worry just, about that after the game's the out. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to uh, call up Wingman and be like, "What the hell did you actually mean when you, right. <laughs> when you came up with this?" The ion, it is. Um, I have to say, I, I mean, we say this a lot, but I give, gotta give him credit. Um, the Inferno is a gorgeous ship. It really is, in my my mind. Both I, of them, uh, the, but they both are. I just, I really like the black. But I'm sure you could probably just paint your ion black in the game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, CIG does not like saving my the the state that I live in for some reason. State you live in? It doesn't like saving Texas. No. So I gotta give credit where credits due again. Uh, CIG, good job on the weather. Um, yeah. This is a screenshot I got off of Reddit. Um, I was going Commander to... Skeleton. He's a he's a follower of mine. So yeah, I was going to Good just say I'm going to go look and figure out who this was. Yeah, I saw um, oh, you should, when you when I I saw that on on Reddit as well, and I looked at the, the name I'm like oh it's com or not Commander Skeleton, Comrade Skeleton. I know Comrade Skeleton. So yes, um, I this made me even more excited for the game. Uh, it's just great to see that in game. Um, I can't wait till they have the effects working properly across all the ships and helmets and everything and, uh, have them f fully dynamic, which is coming in the future. Thank you, Richard Sky. Six months, uh, thanks oh, for hanging. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Richard Sky. Um, yeah. Um, Anything else about the, uh, the Ares? Um, I think they're do. Uh, speaking of ships, how, how angry doing... are how angry are all of the Idris owners going to be when they get sniped by a little ship? Uh, very. So okay, no, yeah. I'm. Can I just say last thing on the Ares? I'm so happy they made this ship, right? Because, um, like, it's expensive, but it's not like anywhere close to like the hyperbolic mm -hmm. arguments that that people make about star Scissor or the like oh the people who spend tens of thousands of dollars or whatever right those are the that's the 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 people we're trying to argue with sometimes yes this ship is the prime example of why your dollars mean nothing <laughs> in the sandbox <laughs> once it goes live Yep, because one person with a very well placed Ares Ion shot can just take you out, yeah. and just it's In your interest. It's so, <laughs> if it wasn't obvious before, it's gotta be now. That's just how they're they're designing the game. It's like everything has a counter, big and small. Which I, I really liked that they made a small ship that actually is a counter. Yeah. To I knew they were gonna. Battles. I it's knew they were gonna. Win, guys. Yeah, totally pay to win. I bet you could rent, like, eventually when you could, when that thing goes live and you can rent ships, I bet you, you could, you could rent that ship for nothing 
go fly up into space, take out a bangle, return your ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that being said, you have to be a skilled pilot. You have to enter um, the range of the capital ship you're trying to kill. Uh, undetected. Not get killed. Not get killed by the capital ship. This is not. Yeah. A... Not get killed by this capital ship. Not get killed by the fighters that the capital ship inevitably launches. You have got to get in, shoot your shot, and get out. Um, it's it's likely going to be more than one shot too. It's likely going to be several shots or or a flight of those things to be able to do anything. Oh, totally. Still, yeah, but those, so you're going to be a flight uh, of those things is cheaper than an Idris. <laughs> Well, and yeah. if you're a really good pilot, you can snipe from long distance with that thing, and how the hell is the Idris going to hit you? And like, also, what if timing? you had three friends who also had one? Yeah. Yeah. Or you all go rent one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, we're going to go into show and tell. Uh, obviously, as, as you folks know, we did not have a show last week because, simultaneously... I realized my OBS didn't work, and Discord died for three Discord hours. Discord exploded <laughs> last week. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Google basically went down and took Discord with it. So, yep. there you go. Um, yeah, we lost at, at work. Like I work for a SaaS company, and, like, three of our back-end services just died on us. <laughs> we were like, No! <laughs> So did you, did you actually have to go into work on that on that day or No, I'm not okay. I'm not that person at all. Okay. To do those things. That's good. I just said <laughs> lucky. <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm the one who tells the people to fix the things when the customers complain. So we are going to cover last week's show and this week's show. So jump points. Um I mean, this is obviously a, kind of a moment we've been waiting for for five years. So I yep. just want to know <laughs> what you guys think of Jump Point so far. I I love it mostly. And two, because um, a lot of people were, were concerned about when they showed it at CitizenCon that it had the, um, the, the Stargate looking thing around it. Mm -hmm. And people were like, well weren't they supposed to be these like natural anom anomalies and um and they showed one in that episode with that one so did they yeah oh, if it I wasn't in the episode it was like some other official thing they also I, did, they no. showed one they also did mention it's, it's, it in citizen con but it wasn't the easiest thing to hear they said that yeah. um it's only the the like ue inhabited systems well that traveled have the, yeah. that yeah. have the gate yeah the stable um, and they're basically just that, there to... the ring stabilizes the the, yeah. the the jump point so yeah. so it's not it doesn't like i guess evaporate or or whatever the the pseudoscience i would is. just say shift. It's... i would just say shift because i think that their <laughs> entrances shift normally yes entrances and exit or exits shift i think is what it is is the mm -hmm. exit shift um but yeah no the 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 issue is more i think the the idea behind it which is it's a, it mechanically makes sense which is there will, the well-traveled systems will have those gates and they're likely going to have reduced costs to transport through them. Mm -hmm. So like when yeah, you open yeah. that gate, when you open a jump point with a gate, it won't cost you as much jump fuel to go through it because the gate is stable, doing part of that job for you. Uh, or you, it may even mean that you don't need a jump drive to go through the, the gated jumps. That but would be cool. You want to go, but if you're going through the non-gated jumps, you have to, uh, you have to use a jump drive to open them and close them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that because they did. They definitely used the jump drive to open the one in the demo. Yeah. So I'm. I think that's a pot. I, that, but that that's one of those balance things that they'll probably get to in beta too, right? Like, what does it look also, like if we? What does it look like if we let Snubcraft go through jump points? You know that kind of thing. Good lord, these volumetric clouds. Amazing. They're gorgeous. Good They're gorgeous. Lord. Oh shit. Beautiful. Just just can beautiful. We, can, can we also can we also talk about how like. Uh, Frankfurt is making up excuses to use their room system now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can, 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 can we make it in the room system? Yes. They're bringing it back, yo. <laughs> They're using it because for everything. That's, that's what that's the room system is what they called for the the interior of the space stations. And then they're like, we'll use it to make um, caves. Caves. And then they're like, let's use it to make prisons. And then they're like, 
Let's use it to make jump points because all the interior of the jump points is made with the room system now. So they have like little yep. sections that they, they map out and then they're just going to randomly generate it together. Mm -hmm. Like soon they're going to be like, hmm, can we make a ship with the room system? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so how do you guys just think right. of the, uh, the design of the tunnel and how it kind of looks like an artery? And I like, like it. You're kind of like a blood vessel like being pumped through it. Um, a, sp I, I, so a space anus. I gotta it's, give it's a the, giant it's throbbing a space, space anus. I gotta space. Okay, so I gotta give credit here to Haramis, who always does, our, or almost always does, our video clips. Uh, thank you once mm -hmm. again, Haramis. Um, his titles for the jump uh, or for the uh, the clips here are jump point anus, jump point fart, <laughs> jump point colonoscopy, <laughs> and jump point intestine. <laughs> <laughs> And this, Listen, I, I'm not this saying clip I'm not saying I inspired colonoscopy. <laughs> I, I'm not saying I mentioned that last week uh, on on the captain's table. Uh, I'm not saying that I inspired someone to call, name their Carrick the the um, uh, cosmic proctologist. I'm just <laughs> name their Carrick the pro cosmic proctologist. Oh, I love it. Um, that's great. Uh, that's fantastic. I if you're not. If what you're not naming I... your ships after 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 some sort of medical procedure in the bums, <laughs> you've you have missed the point of jump points. <laughs> oh man, I I personally love it because yeah, it it, it kind of it kind of reinforces that these are natural phenomena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's cool and and um, especially how they can design them like. Multiple Very paths. easily with multiple paths, uh, you proc gen the things you want. It's it's really good. Um, and they can iterate. They can iterate so fast. They, what, and one of one of the things that I was hoping for, because this is the thing they mentioned in, in um, CitizenCon, that um, that I hope they don't do. That I hope they change, is that the the alternate routes that you see don't just drop you out of n into the middle of nowhere because that's kind of what Chris mentioned is the kind of referenced on stage is like that you just be stuck. It's like, that's great. Now it's boring. Now I just kill myself like now and, and respawn. That's not, that's not a fun game mechanic. I think it would be a better game mechanic that if you took the alternate routes that are not as mapped or not as not, not designed, you may jump out where you're supposed to be close to where you're supposed to be, or you may jump out. You may end up on the other side of the system, you know, or in a completely different system or like this yeah, or like this far from the sun. Yeah, it, like, like <laughs> some, yeah, some, some sort of danger where like I don't have to because one of the biggest problems with these gates is that these gates will inevitably allow for gate campers, you know, for yep. for someone to hand hand out hang hang out of the other side of the gate and just nuke people who come through. And yeah, there's not a lot of lot of lot of lot of uh, it's financial be... reason to do so, but people will do it anyways because they want to harvest your tears because they want you to bitch. It you know, they want to hear that you hard can because they out. can. It and could be pretty. Yeah. It could be pretty hard though in 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 like uh, UE systems because. I oh yeah, gotta but I mean, imagine I'm, like, there's going to be an enormous yeah. amount of military around those things. I, I get that, but at the same time, you also got to remember that the first jump point with a with a gate that we're going to get in Star Citizen is the jump point to Pyro. <laughs> Good point. There's no and UE Pyro on the other nothing. side of that. <laughs> no, exactly. It's just the middle of fucking nowhere. So oh. I can, I can imagine the first jump point comes in maybe this year, and if it does, all we're going to hear in chat is someone's camping the Pyro gate. Mm -hmm. Like, and just as just, you do. Just and so I, that's why I think it would be better for them to have those alternate routes just have a little bit of a danger to them, but not the danger of like, you're fucked. Good luck, kid. Um, what I'm like, really curious about Take is... it because you're worried of campers, but it could drop you off in a place where you now are in more danger because there's somebody else nearby or there's something else around that. So, What I kind of am interested in, one of the things he said is that if you, if you like breach the wall of the, of the, you know, I was going to mention that tube of the of the, um, yeah, the, the the wormhole. They, no, that's what that's where he was saying. You could just get dropped out in the middle of nowhere. Um, mm -hmm. oh, okay. And, and I... so, I mean, I want to know what maybe they maybe they don't have any gameplay for that, and you just get like a message like you are lost forever or something, and it, you just yeah. fade to black. But what I would kind of like is if there's some kind of gameplay associated with that. I don't know what it is, but I would love to see maybe server speaking. It, like. Just because it's it's 
it's rip a, you it's back boring... into the world. <laughs> jump. It's or maybe a... you can open up the jump point from there too. Yeah, it's it's a boring. Exit. Yeah, it's. I would say it's a boring mechanic just to have you drop off in the middle of nowhere and just die. Yes, that's that's because yeah. I'll people just kill themselves and then you respawn because it's like yeah. fuck it. The problem is yeah. how do you how do you deal with that in in uh, Death of a Spaceman, right? Like people won't care. <laughs> But is it a permadeath? Because then, like, you know well, what there's I mean? no permadeath. They have semi permadeath, and the death of the spaceman doesn't work like that. Because, like, that's a different story entirely. But basically, the point is, is that you, you want to do uh, with this kind of situation. You wouldn't want a situation where the only option you have is to kill yourself. Yes, I agree. Because. I agree. Because that's a boring game mechanic, and as much as that sounds like horrible thing to say, you know they could, like to say kill yourself, but you know what they could do uh, is they could basically have it so uh, going through the wall drops you off in the middle of nowhere, and your ship is damaged. Like maybe maybe your jump drive like gets damaged by that, and you basically mm -hmm. just have to repair your ship, and then you can reopen the jump point again. I think that Maybe. would be a reasonable. I think that'd be a reasonable it, mechanic. It, I yeah. think the mechanic, the mechanic should. I, I would feel like the damage. You would just if you hit the walls, you would bounce off and do damage, and so you could like die in the jump point where you're just <laughs> bouncing off the walls and exploding. I only they could only uh, do that if you, if the parts of your ship just come flying out the other side like shrapnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. That that would that would be cool, and I think, but, <laughs> like I, but I think that would be a better mechanic, like an interstellar shotgun. Time basically <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh all right but yeah but it does beg the question though like i re i do remember uh chris saying during the presentation that that the pyro system as you're traversing the uh the wormhole is being streamed in yeah you know the technical side of that uh, he's loading into memory and all the object containers mm -hmm. are being loaded and all that but I wonder if there's actually going to be space in between those two areas where That's you can actually very pop deep. out. Yeah. And so when I have to quantum to you, I mean, it'll take like hours probably. Though in 3.8, the quantum time is actually significantly reduced. Oh, did they do that? Finally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how much is it reduced? I was in a Pisces and I went to Microtech and I think it, it took me about... 10 minutes oh wow that's way less and i and i Holy i sp respawn i spawned at port olisar okay i need to jump into 38 when i can i'm not in ptu mm -hmm. but yeah hopefully soon it's um, good we so want to talk about 38 now the room system room system okay yeah okay. see see the room system gotta love I, the room I, system. my segue didn't work <laughs> damn it no no i the room system's good. I think they're going to use it for more things. Like, yeah. honestly, I'd love to see them use the room system for um, buildings in our corp and in cities, mm -hmm. you know, in general. Just so, like, it feels a little bit more alive. Like, you can go into, like, a building and you'll just, they just have, like, hey, here's a building. It exists. Here's elevators. They exist. Not, 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 not the thing, like, is in there or anything, but it's have it set up so that they can put missions in there. Like, mm -hmm. terrorists have taken over this, mm -hmm. this building you got to go in and, and, you know, get the hostages out or uh, this building's being used as a drug lab. You know, it's abandoned. It's being used as a drug lab or, you know, you got to go arrest this, this big wig CEO of this company. Um, and they, we got to use a contract labor because if we do it ourselves, it'll be like a political nightmare and you have to like go in and like take out the corporate security and whatever, like th those kind of things are possible with the room system, which is what I like. If yeah, I remember correctly, um, I'm not sure if it was, last citizen con 2017 or 2018 or if it was 2017 uh when they displayed or showcased the uh the procedural city generation for our court mm -hmm. i i do remember um what's his face um john tracy wow why can i yeah uh yeah uh sean he said that that's basically doable they can they can like precisely generate a, a room system within one of those planet uh, one of those plants one of those buildings so that yep. there's an interior so if there is a mission that you have to go in it will be built out for that i think that's really a smart way to do it too because you could just say hey the buildings are locked and then so you can't go in them when the when a mission generates inside the doors are unlocked and it procedurally generates the interior and it may it'll look for all the world like all the buildings can be entered when you know you have a reason to go into them 
And mm. like that, I think that's really cool. So we have switched over to we're getting there okay. to weathering the effects. Uh the weather okay. effects. Um, I thought that was awesome. Sorry sorry to, to cut I, you off, but Yeah. Go. go. Ahead. No, go for it. Okay. I just wanted to say um, this was something that kind of caught me off guard. It was one of those, like, I really hope they can do this eventually, and then all of a sudden it's here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very impressed with the ingenuity they had to go, hey, uh, our current planet tech isn't really serving our need. We're going to change the whole thing, so now it's all based on altitude and wind and humidity and temperature. And it just all feeds into this system that they can draw weather out of, basically. Um, I think it, that's just a really uh, elegant way to achieve their goal. And it uses the room system, like <laughs> mechan well, like design, because I mean, it's essentially it's they so put it does. within it's the hilarious. object container. Yeah. Star Citizen room system. Room. Like there's like. <laughs> That's the, that's, the, that's the subtitle of, 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 of Star Citizen at this point. Like, there's, there's like a handful of tools that they're, they're using to make this game. It's like Quantum, the room system, uh, ser uh, object container streaming, and um, uh, what's the last meshing. one? And server meshing. Those are the ones that will make the whole game. So I got to give him credit for that clip there with the, like, the visor is almost totally obstructed, and there's, like, the exploding yeah. uh, transformer over your head. That's just amazing. Yeah. Um, having procedural planets that are actually dynamic is just, well, I mean, that's really the whole reason we did the, every, we're all here, right? Is mm -hmm. CIG's pushing the state of the art for games, even, you know, even if, you know, knock on wood, things don't really work out for Star Citizen, they've pushed the state of the art forward really hard, um, which is, I'm, I'm very impressed with their ability to make this dynamic. Yeah, I cannot wait until I can see a storm swell up and then move over to you and then it starts thundering and lightning and like all types of precipitation. With fog, like, with down fog and the rain, like you look up yep. and you can see the clouds darken. Or like, mm. you know, you're in a group with you're in a group of people and you have a guy in orbit and he's like, guys, you have a storm moving towards you right now. I can see yeah. it. Here. Get the fuck out of <laughs> Get there. Out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be amazing um and you know i like that they explained how they you know they explained that they the wind isn't fully dynamic yet and they explained how they did the wind for the demo because a lot of people thought it was like completely faked it was only mostly mm -hmm. faked <laughs> they had a the they basically made a rotating um a rotating wind map for the area mm -hmm. around the the station that they had in the demo yeah, well, the thing is, is that um, uh, the wind is one hundred percent in three six, three eight. I should say three yep. eight. It's it like you can see like like the visor right now in three eight as you when you hop in, if you're like looking at towards where the wind is blowing, mm -hmm. the visor will like streak That's from where you cool. are. But if you look if you look look to the side, it'll streak to the side. Oh, like on your visor, awesome. it's actually it maps the wind. The wind is actually in in terms of mapping. It may not be perfect, but it is. So cool. It's in the game. That's so. awesome. Yeah, I'm getting gradually more excited for this. They they did a really good job with Citizen Con, and I think re, at least reengaging my imagination. Anyway, I'm not sure about you guys, but um, always seems yeah, like we I come up so. to Citizen Con and everyone's in the doldrums, and then they are like, "Hey, look, we're awesome!" And we're like, "Oh, look, they are." All right. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next clip here, which is ba 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 ba. Wait, that's the same clip, isn't it? Hmm. Yes. That is the same. Hermes, what did you do to me? <laughs> oh, and yes, that, that also brings in another friend of of of, of us is my radar, um, who yes. also have dynamic weather tracking in Star Citizen. I believe is what the, the plan is once that's in. Why do, I, and oh, did I they launch that satellite video. with the Star Citizen? They brand. did. Uh, they did. I, 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 you know, that's amazing. Um, so word is that things are going very well with their little satellite that has the Star Citizen logo etched on the side. 
Um, and it was launched with a SpaceX uh, Falcon uh, rocket. So. No, it was Rocket Lab. Yeah. It was Rocket Lab. It was Rocket Lab. Oh, it was Rocket Lab. Their I thought it was SpaceX. Apparently, their next but... one is going up on SpaceX. Okay. Because they're la- they're, they have like a whole line of satellites they're launching. Um, and uh, th- it was Rocket Lab that launched the first one, but I think uh, Falcon 9 is doing the next one. Um, yeah. Um, I, I'm, yeah, that's just the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> and I, I'm impressed with how much money they have. Cause I mean, making satellites and launching them is not cheap. Even now it's gotten a lot cheaper, but it's still not cheap <laughs> on the order of millions of dollars, no matter what we slice it. Um, and so, yeah, we're into the part of the show for, that was the, uh, about all about the Aries. Um, some beautiful shots here, but we've already started talking about the Aries, so we can skim yeah. over this a little bit. Apparently, there's a, a commercial for it now. Like, they made a there is. commercial for it. Yeah, it's a one-minute commercial. It, so. It's um, kind of like a top-secret thing. <laughs> so, uh, one last video I wanted to show, and this one is on Reddit, and I just, uh, I always love these shots, so I wanted to show it off. Um, the zoom out. Mm-hmm. Mm. On Microtech, <laughs> all the way from the yeah, flowers in the tundra. Yes, yeah, someone's, someone's doing their re- their rear, rear view camera, which is a thing. In all ships, all ships have rear view cameras. So awesome. Um, yeah. Honestly, CIG could just sell like planet generation software. <laughs> To other game I mean, companies. <laughs> they sh- what they should be doing is selling it to Amazon. Yeah. Because they built it on their engine. They just mm-hmm. sell it as a tool for the for Amazon Game Studios to use. And and hey, we were watching. Um, me and Jake and Dolvac and Eris were watching the Game Awards the other night, and we saw the, at least to my knowledge, the first Amaz- uh, lumberyard game coming from Amazon. Um, yep. New World. New, New World, World, which looked very interesting. Yeah. It's a great trailer. It's an open world. I, I can say I've played it. I played oh, really? it. In, in, and yes, I did. I played it in closed alpha. I can't say what I, my experience was, but it is. Um, but I will say that the, the idea is that it is a open world MMO um, with building aspects. You can build things like um, get together with people and build like settlements and those kind of things. Um, like Ultima Online type thing? I think is the plan. The plan, there's still like NPCs you can go out and kill and, and those kind of things, but it is it is very much a uh, uh, an open world, uh, PvP focused um, kind of world, a kind of, kind of uh, sur- sur- almost survival-esque in terms of its, its design. All right. So um, for those who played 3.8, now is your time. What's 3.8 like? I'll let you go because I only okay. went from Port Alisar to Microtech and flew around Microtech a little bit, and I All had right. some screenshots that I shared. So, so he, here's here's my experience in a nutshell. This is uh, I've done a bunch of other things, like I, but this we decided that we we're going to do the um, we're trying to get the the the, the missions because there's a, there is a Idris mission in the PTU. The Idris mission is a ch- mission chain which you get from. Miles Eckhart. Um, you get the mission, and then you have to kill a bunch of ship jackers, and eventually the last ship jacker you kill is in a Idris. Now, we were trying to get that, but we couldn't, so we decided to do the Constantine Hurston mission. So I walked into, first off, Hurston is beautiful in version four. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, all of the planets, even Delamar looks good in version four of the huh. planet. Thing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Delamar looks good. Um, and um, so we went to Lorville. Um, well, yeah, we, we went, went to Lorville. We got a, we went, we talked to Constantine. When I went to go talk to Constantine, when, when the uh, mission started, like the whole, like you pulls you into a cut screen, uh, cut screen, he um, cut scene, he was typing on his computer. He was actually typing on his computer, like on his, whatever his desk. And then he, as it w- got pulled into the cut scene, he went, Hi. And then like, I was like, motherfucker, did you just, did you just one second me? You hire me for a job and just be like, oh, 
stay there, peasant. Uh, like, fuck you, Hurston. Um, so <laughs> he then gives us a job. It's a pretty typical go to a bunker, kill it, clear it out, get the stuff. While we, we go there and we figure out that uh, we're flying in a freelancer uh, miss. And we, as we get there, I realize that they have the citizen con knife in game. So you can use the citizen con knife if you have it. It's the utility slot, by the way, uh, under weapons. And uh, so then we walk in, um, we kill all the guards, we get the box, we come out. And as I'm walking out with a box, we hear this <laughs> of the new, the new like fly, fly by um, sounds. And as, as, as we hear it coming over, we look up and I see this. It's, it's trailing a little smoke, but there's this there's this Valkyrie that flies straight over us, and it's kind of wobbling as it's flying. I'm like, what the heck's that? And Diablos, who's with me, says, that's an NPC Valkyrie. And I'm like, <laughs> they have backup? They called for backup? So I we hop into the Freelancer. I drop the box. I get into the turret. Diablos is flying away. We have a dogfight with the Valkyrie, which is actually kind of intense because they're hitting all their shots. Um, AI... The ship AI is dangerous. If you're not paying attention to them, they will kill you um, uh, very easily. Uh, and um, the, it's the, the, the like NPC AI, like the, the gone foot AI, yeah, hit and miss. It depends on uh, like when you get them. But uh, we blow them up. And as we blow them up, the, sh- the sun is just starting to rise in, in Hurston with this big, gorgeous red sunrise as we're flying back to Hurston to drop it off um in, in in the freelance it was it was a game <laughs> it felt like a game i mean so it not felt like a game for a while but this is the first time i'm like oh god that that that's a logical mission progression go do this pick up this this safe oh look they have backup i got the i got the object but now i have to defend the object all the way back home and yeah it worked like the Planets look great. Stations over over planets is fantastic idea because every station now has a hab. All of the, the L stations have habs, so they're all spawn points. Um, nice, nice. Uh, now all the L stations also they've removed the weapons um, purchasing from all the L stations, they, but they do all have armor now, um, armor shops. So okay. <laughs> um. Gosh, what was it? I just um, want to say that that sounds awesome. I I I, I want to start doing the mission giver missions now because I kind of stopped. I I didn't want to do them because I didn't want to, you know, lack for a better phrase, um, spoil them. Mm-hmm. But that sounds really awesome. I may I may have to go yeah. do some of those mission givers now. They've they've improved some of the mission givers dramatically. Um, so I'm excited. I'm I'm ready to get my hands on this thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I I, uh, I want to poke. And the, the whole stations above planets thing was so necessary because <laughs> they either needed to vastly reduce the amount of time it took to go down to and up from planets, or do orbital stations where you don't have to go down to the planet for most things. You know, because especially taking off from a planet, especially Hurston, I noticed took. I was down there in my prospector and it took me like 20 minutes to get to orbit. And like, that's just not fun. Like what? I'm not that excited yeah. about that. Oh, there's also a new mission for combat pilots. If you are a lawful combat pilot, there is a mission from the CDF you can take, which basically says every po- every person with a criminal stat or NPC with a criminal stat, you kill, you get 500 UEC and the higher the criminal stat, the more UEC you get, up to 5,000 UEC. So if you kill a five-star criminal that doesn't have a bounty yet, that you don't have a bounty for, you get 5,000 UEC. Wow. That's cool. That's oh, quite a man, bit. You can't get, moonlight. So, so you get pulled out of, of Quantum and there's like three um, nine tails attacking you. you. If you have that mission, you kill all three, you get 1,500 UEC. So those are those are some like there's a lot of mission like ch- tweaks they've done and additions they've done. They've added brand new missions they've even they've even talk about called these uh um uh mineral claim missions where you have to mm. go to, around L stations and fight off um like pirates who are controlling those areas um to claim uh, to to uh, 
like reclaim it for like uh, Shubin and stuff like that. So there's there's lots of interesting stuff in terms of like combat gameplay that they've added. Um, but yeah, and the 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 mining heads are real. They are fucking expensive, but they're real. <laughs> like this, the, the best awesome. ones are like two hundred thousand UEC to get. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, CDF Bang Chow, the civilian defense force. <laughs> not, not, not the, not the blow your ears out defense force. Love you, Z uh, Zillow. <laughs> um, so I wanted to comment quickly on something, um, because it's sort of my forte. Um, anybody who's been in the relay Discord has seen me chatting about this, but uh. Star or CIG kind of hit it out of the park with IE twenty nine twenty nine forty nine. Um, they brought in twelve million dollars in that sale, which vastly eclipses anything they've done previously. Um, and to top it off, we have the Crusader Ares sale, which has so far made uh one point five million dollars already. Um, and they still have the mole which is going to go on sale with the release of 3.8. Animal. And I'm starting to... I think they're going to eclipse 45 million fairly fairly easily, which yeah, is Over a, 40 million? They're at 40, almost... They're 42.5 right now. So they, this is the best year of... Oh, by far. Uh, so by far. Yeah, they, because like the, the previous best year was like 39 million, right? Or 38 million? Uh, the previous best year, that's a very good question, was last 2016. year. 2016. No, it was, was last, it last year. year. It was last year. Oh. Only by only slightly, though. They would kind of like waffled around really close to the same number. I think it was 39.5 or something, but I'll check here. Yeah, the, 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 the title still says we're still in. Uh, no, we're in Star Citizen. I, I moved it. I, I, I swapped, yeah. uh, swapped it over. Um, th oh, sorry. No, the our previous the previous best was is that right? I thought twenty eighteen was the best one, but it's yeah, it was uh, no, it was it was uh, it was twenty eighteen and it was thirty seven point seven five million. So the five million. Plus. They're already five million more. They have another ship sale and they are they still have the Aries sale going on and they'll probably have a holiday sale. So you're it, maybe even ten million more if they really do well like that's that's a huge uplift in their revenue mm -hmm. so yeah uh, i wonder how many of that is is new like people coming into the game versus and that's that's the question people or... always ask and there's literally no way for us to know there's the mm -hmm. only the only way i'm sure cig knows but we don't get to know <laughs> i will i will say that there i think there were less there was less concept ships this year than they've had in the last you know recent history in the last couple of years there weren't a lot uh, no there were, there were a lot five, of five or six um, and they used to have them every month remember mm -hmm. flight ready ships though yeah there were i mean there was the the ballista the um what else was there um the pisces the pisces that was the yeah, kind of but yeah um the uh mantis i think those are the three flight readies because the uh, arrow was actually last year is 2018 um but usually cig makes its most of its money off its concept ships because mm -hmm. concept ships and the the uh the like big capital ships especially during the i the iae events so i would i would venture to say that a lot of this is new people because yeah. there's two things that have happened one the that is you know a data point the other data point is that star citizen is the top 50 most watched game on twitch it's in the top 50 not number one obviously but in terms of hours Honestly, put in being top 50 is top pretty 50. impressive given the fact that it's years from release yes you know. um more more and more streamers have been coming in and playing it more youtubers have been talking about it in terms of a game rather than just reporting on the controversy um there are more new people coming into the communities uh, every day. Um, mm -hmm. I think likely what you're seeing is new players coming in and buying a starter pack and then possibly a, a sort of adding to their fleets is why you start having more people because you still have your, your general whales, the people who are going to buy every mm -hmm. concept ship no matter what, but they're not going to buy an additional cutlass 
just because they already have four. I thought, the, um, I thought it was very interesting that they that they made the expedition, the C N expedi- uh, X expedition, um, the Pisces, uh, a new starter pack. I thought that was a really interesting move. Um, it's it re- a great move. It actually replaced yeah, it, the Aurora on the like fly now thing. Which, like completely? Yeah. Uh, Dude, well, like still. When you um, is it still up? I'm not sure. But at the time, it, mm-hmm. it, they had replaced the the. Uh, it was the Mustang and the Pisces, not the Mustang and the Aurora, on the fly now uh, thing. Hate um, the Mustang. <laughs> so why do you hate the Aurora CIG? It's such a beautiful ship. Oh, the Aurora. Okay, so the Aurora is back on the fly now thing. Um, but yeah. when when the uh, yeah when the Pisces was available there, it was. Uh, it had replaced it and it had the game package and it was, I think only, I think it was $10 more than the Mustang one. Um, but I thought that well, was that's pretty why, cool. It was more expensive. <laughs> um, but uh, actually really, I, I got to We've talked about it before, but I really, really love the idea and the, and the, the execution of the Pisces. Um, it's basically it's a runabout from Star Trek, and it's yeah. just and it's in the Carrick, which a lot of people get a Star Trek vibe from anyway. Not in the look of the ship, but its function, like what it's supposed to do. Um, and uh, I think a lot of Carrick owners were kind of like, "Hey, thanks for giving us a second ship," because the originally the snub was not supposed to have a quantum drive, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> um, I will say though that the Mantis looks more like a Star Trek ship than any of the ships in Star Citizen. Yeah, mm, to a degree. I mean, like I really the back want... end is like a Enterprise nacelle. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I really, really and, would actually. It just looks like a flattened D or an E. The one, the one that was in uh, not for it was a first contact or. And, and Nemesis. Nem- uh, yeah, Nemesis and Insurrection had the E. Yeah. Um, actually, no. So did the First Contact because uh, Generations is when the D is destroyed. Um, I I almost would love to see them do a ship that is an homage to Star Trek ships. Is basically the the disc and the warp drive and the whole. Be cool. Not like a direct ripoff, but something that's more, you know, from that uh, that design language. Because they do have uh, many other ships that are <laughs> very close to counterparts in other sci-fi. Um, so let's um, let's do some questions here. We got like eighteen minutes uh, less time than usual, but we had a lot more stuff to go over this this we had- uh, week. We had two weeks of content to talk yep. about. Yep. Um, um, oh, also, uh, just a small side note. If uh, any of you missed any of the CitizenCon festivities, it is all on YouTube now. Everything. So I'm hoping, it's all there. I'm hoping to try and get something together over the holidays to like do a bit of a kind of watch party, maybe one or two or more of those uh, panels, but that really depends on people's availability and stuff. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I'll be around because I'm actually I'm I'm off work for about a week, so. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely go watch stuff on all the stuff on YouTube. Um, especially Tony Zervek. Watch that one three or four times, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you get the gist of what he's talking about. Um, but uh, yeah, I that that panel being there watching watching that blew me away. I was uh. Very impressive. Um, all right. So questions. First question is from Fast Cart. Between the Endeavor, Redeemer, and Starliner, how many or, or which of those do you think will go live after Star Citizen launches? Uh, all three. Bryce Serena, what do you think? I mean, the cop-out answer is all three, but... <laughs> I, I would say call it out jake the wow liner <laughs> you think the starliner okay um paul what do you think you think all three endeavor didn't it just the endeavor yeah okay and so here's the thing i i could see the redeemer coming in because they'll just do they'll, they'll rip it off like a band-aid they'll get to it and they'll just be like 
Okay, boom, done. It's completely changed. If it's the roll is still the same, but it doesn't look the same. Whatever. Here's your here's your free re- refund. Maybe I hope not. I hope so, but you know I don't trust CAG. So um, or your 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 the other things. Uh, but they'll they'll get because it's combat. It'll probably come in earlier. Um, then I think the Genesis Starliner will come in because once they have the Crusader Industries in, that is the primary people mover. Yeah. And it looks like they're already starting to move towards, they already have NPCs moving off of ships. Now they just have to have NPCs move onto ships. That's the, that's the key. Uh, and once they have those things going, I could see people like taking a cargo or taking a people transport mission from like a local place. Um, and uh, uh, moving over, like kind of kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I, I think I agree. I, I think that the uh, the like transportation mechanic that they have in mind that is sort of anchored by the Starliner, but is mm-hmm. that is present on every ship, um, needs to be in the game before it releases, in my opinion. Yes, and I also think it'll be in the game just because of the nature of as they're building things out. That's one of those AI behaviors they need to have done anyways. Oh, oh crash! Oh, he's, he's back. back. <laughs> sorry about that welcome back <laughs> um but but yeah i think i think that's the uh um that's the, uh, uh, the 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 key and then the last one is the endeavor the endeavor is nice but unless it has a squadron 42 asset that is a end game level org level ship designed for colony transportation it's an it's you know, well, and it's also it's also a uh, a do everything. It's a shit. It's, it's a do everything. It's a, it's, it can do it, almost it, it, it can do almost everything ship, in the game. It's it's an exploration. It's ship, a farm. It's a science yeah. ship. <laughs> it's a farm. <laughs> yeah. It's it's just lots of different things that it's supposed to do, and it has heavy it has heavy modularity. They've talked about it recently and said it's going to get bigger. Yeah, just because it has to get bigger. Requires more things. It has to get bigger. It's almost already the size of a bangle, so it's going to be as big, if not bigger, than a bangle, and that's a huge resource hog. So they're going to have to figure out how to make that work. And a lot of the mechanics that they have that are working on it will be working on smaller ships beforehand, long beforehand. So they don't really. It's not a ship that is needed for to test out a mechanic. So it's also it's likely it's likely not going to be. We're not going to see it for. Uh you know years years and years and years the the other thing with that is that because it's so big and requires so much work they're probably going to want the uh ship pipeline running at like peak efficiency and power when it tries to tackle the endeavor Mm -hmm. because they they don't want it to take them a year to make it i mean it probably still will but um you want it to take a year with all of the complications that come into play, not a year scheduled, and then it takes a year and a half. Yeah. You know? Um, um, so. <laughs> um, that and server meshing will probably help with. Uh, uh, very much, yes. Yeah. Uh, internal internal like server compartments. Helping, yeah, and, and they'll keep the load a little bit, you know, divided among, like, all the servers or well, and I think that's why, like, like uh, I would likely, we'd likely see a bangle in Star Citizen before we'd see a uh, uh, an endeavor. But I, I feel like the oh, endeavor yeah, the bang- would. Be yeah, I think the bangle is basically done. Well, because the thing about the bangle is that it may be done for Squadron Forty Two, but putting mm-hmm. it in Star Citizen is a completely different thing. So once yeah. we start seeing like the bangle in game for Star Citizen, where we start seeing NPCs flying them around, we have to fight them or whatever. Cool. Then, <sighs> then. We'll start seeing. Um, I think they'll. We'll start. We'll, we'll be within a year or two out of of with the endeavor. Um, so yeah, I think Redeemer, then Genesis, and then lastly Endeavor. Okay. Um, Ashley asks, when? Uh, how long do you think it will take for a fleet combat version of Theaters of War to come out? I think that's going to be a map, not a fleet combat in the sense of like you have a fle- two fleets going at each other. It'll be something like the capture the interest mode where those be like a station or something that you have to mm-hmm. capture and the two spawn points or other opposing stations or uh, uh, like bangles or something like that where you can fly your ships out. Or like a or planet like and a station and, you, and they like try and... Yeah. Um, yeah, that, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Um, anyone else have any comments on that question? Nope. 
Ashley uh, asks, so I have a theory that Sean Tracy came up with Theaters of War to sell the other leads on the necess necessity of mechs. <laughs> How likely do you think this theory is? 100% true. Sean Tracy loves him some mechs, and I love, I love him for it. Sean Tracy is, is, my, uh, is my Jesus. Um, I, I believe in Sean Tracy. Um, <laughs> cause I want Max in game. Sean Tracy is amazing. I also yes. think that, that he made that game so that, you know, cause I mean, arena commander is, has hardly ever played same thing with star mm -hmm. Marine. So it, it will bring in fresh people into, if they keep, keep supporting it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I think a lot of people are really excited for that game mode too. So I think it'll get a lot more, uh, in space. a lot more play testing there. Uh, Space Whale asks, uh, what happens if two people try to use the jump point from either side? It's a very... Don't pass. cross the streams. Um, you'll likely, you'll likely be able to, you'll have to outmaneuver them. Because, I mean, it depends on the, the size of the jump point. Like, some of those jump points that they showed off are massive. They made the Carrick look like mm -hmm. a tiny ant. Yep. Like you're not gonna not even notice another ship in the in in uh, in jump points if you're if you're like moving fast at those size you may not even be able to see them how far the render distance will be it might show up on your radar that's it uh, but or in small uh, yeah it really I, I think saying, it really depends and I'm I am kind of curious to see what that looks like maybe you'll you'll have your own tunnel quantum like uh, wormhole tunnel thing that's possible too I'm very curious. I guess we'll just have to wait and see when Pyro gets thrown in there and people start trying to break it. <laughs> As we do. It's our job, right? Um, Fastcard asks, did you guys hear that Star Citizen is in space? Did you read the My Radar announcement? We did. And our, we have the shot up, thank you, Fastcard, on our screen here of the uh, circle board with the uh, Star Citizen logo etched into it, which is pretty fantastic. The owner of that company is really cool. Paul, you had him on, on your uh, show, Captain mm -hmm. Stable, a couple times, right? Mm-hmm. That's cool. He's uh, twice. He's, uh, he's, he's really, really, really awesome. And I'm blanking on his name, so I feel bad about it. I'm looking through my, uh, my list. Um, my Radar Ranger. Radar Ranger. Um, He's he's been on a couple places. He's a friend of Nubifiers. Uh he's a fantastic uh and if you haven't got the MyRadar app and you live in the United States or Canada, download it. It's a really good app. I've actually gotten alerts about weather before the National Weather Service would send out an alert. And unfortunately, through, through the My app. I've tried to use it before. It doesn't work in Canada. Oh, it, they only have US radar. I really wish it worked it's, here. It's it's the best. It is the the I think the most downloaded free radar weather app in uh, cool. in the United States. So um, that's also um, it's kind of funny. Like the U.S. has amazing weather radar, like way better than anywhere else in the world. But I'm yeah, I'm I'm, I'm completely certain it's because the U.S. is basically this hub of hurricanes and tornadoes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like um... you know. <laughs> Uh, between between storms in the northeast, you know, like nor nor'easters and the hurricanes in the south, and uh, t uh, tornadoes all throughout the Midwest, yeah, we're one hundred percent, um, one hundred percent rain in the northwest. <laughs> yeah, just, just it just dumps rain. It's it's I always. Be, I'll be right back. Can you guys uh, continue with questions? Anybody else have sure. the questions document open? I'm sure Jake does. I don't. Uh, I do. Cool. So we're at the expense question. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. How you doing, chat? How you doing? doing good. Thank you for watching. Make sure you oh, like no. and subscribe if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, and uh, you know, do the other things. Uh, Fast Car asks, have you watched the latest season of The Expanse yet? Uh, no, um, sort at of. least for me. My, um, yeah. uh, my TV time last night was Mando, and then my TV time this morning was My Hero Academia, so. 
Uh, yeah, I watched the first two episodes uh, along with, uh, I think, Bree, you also watched the first two episodes? Yeah, I, I wanted to play a little bit of 3.8, and then I watched the first two, and it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, yeah, I probably should go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, was, it was good. <clears throat> I think the first episode was really rushed because it was like a hurry up and get to the plot. Um, but episode two felt really good. Um, they fleshed out Bobby a lot more. Bobby feels a lot less like I'm a badass Marine. Fuck you. I'm gonna act like a badass Marine and more like, fuck you. Like quip, 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 quip. Like, uh, she's, she's a lot more, a, a lot better of a character in this season than she think, was in previous seasons. I think they realized that, that, that people. With Abba Sarala, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, also, so at, I also, I was swearing realize... every other sentence is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she swears all the time now because, like, in the books, like, every other word is fuck or shit or bitch or cunt. Like, every <laughs> other word that she says. Um, and, and like, in when she's talking with, like, people she knows, especially, she swears all the time. And, uh, like, the first meeting she has with Holden, it's like, it's just like, don't put your dick in it. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. That's right. Don't that, put your that, don't don't put your dick in it. Um, just don't put your dick or in something it. like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fucked too much. Or it's been fucked it too much. Don't put your awesome. dick into it. Just like, oh god damn. <laughs> oh, I love it. it Shore Agadeshu does a really good job with that character. Too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ama and she, she amazing. As as I discovered last night, she has a long list of playing admirals in other and other TV and um, <laughs> uh, video game series. She's one of the admirals of the Quarian fleet in Mass yep. Effect Two. Yeah. Yep. Um, she's an admiral in Star Trek in Starfleet. Yeah. Um, she's in several episodes of Star Trek as the as an admiral, and I believe she's even an admiral in the Halo games. Yes, so, she is. <laughs> she got promoted for the Expanse to become, you know, <laughs> the, the president um, of of Earth, basically. But you know, um, that was the only question we asked. All right, Fastcard asks uh, a game site that shall remain nameless gave Star Citizen and Fallout seventy six. It was massively op. The okay. Uh, the 2019 awards worst MMO business model. Most of the criticism is that Star Citizen isn't released yet. How would you debunk that award? Uh, Massive uh, OP has rut routinely and for and and uh, every year uh, shat on Star Citizen for for clicks um, and 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 clickbait. Never clicks. ever go to click. They're doing it for clicks, and a lot of them are massive Eve Eve fans. And so, ever since Star Citizen's been even announced, they've been trying to shit on Star Citizen. So, like, they're they're a shitty they're a shitty writing team, and they're bad at what they do, and they're trying to get you to get angry because they want rage clicks. That's they're the is. MMO version of the Escapist. Yep. Yep. One hundred percent. And the, the in the beginning, because I, I used to follow massively all OP, and it was fairly fair i mean there was maybe a little bit of negative tinge to it but over the time they have gotten more negative um no i will say every once in a while they throw us a bone and say something like the music is good like, <laughs> like that's what they do yeah. literally that well, is their expose on on how the music was good nobody can like, nobody can they're, com they're complain not, about pedro <laughs> They're not. They're not so. They're not so bad. They they like Pedro. I'm like they're just saying that because they're just gonna shit on them later because that's what they do every every year. Massively OP says something like Star Citizen is the biggest disappointment, the biggest failure, so, the shittiest business model, and all yeah. That sort of thing so, like so so let's talk about business models. Um. So, uh, everybody knows that Final Fantasy 14 is fantastic, right? Um doing great things probably pro the only worthy competitor to world of warcraft um mm -hmm. easily better than world of warcraft in many respects uh Story, however play everything yeah however uh it is you have to buy the license you have mm -hmm. to pay 15 dollars a month subscription there is a full cosmetic microtransaction shop uh mm -hmm. many of those cosmetics cost uh like 20 to 50 dollars and uh, there's also pay to skip mechanics. Also, if you want player housing, um, they pretty much tell you, yeah, you have to remain subscribed forever, otherwise your house goes away. So, I don't know, dude. MMO business models just kind of suck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that, 
it's it's again like whenever it comes to Star Citizen, it's either intentional, like it's it's like really well done research and really real well done reporting, or it's we know this is going to get rage qu- clicks because the fanboys will click it because they want to yell at us, uh, or the haters will want to like jerk themselves off about it, and everybody else wants to laugh at Star Citizen. Like those are the three options I do. That's why every summer they punch down and hit Star Citizen every year because like Star Citizen still isn't out yet because they they went through all of the E three drama and they still need to have get paid. Daddy needs his fucking to pay his fucking rent, you know, kind of thing. That's what it is. Yep. Um. So I. Uh... We do need to depart here shortly, but so we're going to do kind of rapid fire on these last uh, half dozen questions. So, uh, Ashley asks, what was your favorite Citizen Con panel besides the opening and closing? Um, I... uh, can we also say besides Tony's? Because mm, okay. Tony's. Okay, besides Tony's. <laughs> I mean, Tony's was the best. So, uh, besides Tony's and the opening and closing, uh, Paul. Well, what's the best one? What was your favorite your one? Favorite one. Besides the opening, well, the closing, or the Tonys? Ob- obligatory answer: the lore video, the the lore mm-hmm. the tie between the lore and the uh, um, the the languages. Uh, in reality, theaters of war, just because uh, of like how Sean Tracy, Sean, you know how to talk dirty to me, Sean. You know how to whisper <laughs> in my ear the things I need to hear. You took my answer. That is literally <laughs> verbatim what I was going to say. <laughs> Perfect. Because he whispers in my ear and he says, "Fun." <laughs> We're going to give you fun. I'm just like, oh, fucking, oh, baby, just do me right now, all right? Just just on the table. <laughs> Into my veins, John. <laughs> uh, Bryce Serena. So, for me, I haven't watched all the videos. Um, so, it's a tie between the UI and the Theater of War. Okay. Um, I'm going off, off script here. My favorite one besides uh, Tony's was Microtechnicalities. Uh, I was very impressed with what they did with Microtech. Um, they did a beautiful job on that planet. And uh, I, yeah, I love that one. Um, so next one up, Fastcart asks, any thoughts on the roadmap updates? We talked about this before the show, and basically the answer is no. <laughs> there weren't any. There weren't. Mu- there wasn't much. Oh, they're so minuscule that nothing to really report They about. finished 3.8 pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fastcard asks, "Can we change the relay slogan to the cop out answer?" Uh, no. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fastcard asks, "Would Paul be upset if I ask some of these questions again for Captain's Table?" <laughs> no, I'm just not going to answer all of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I do that all the time. Um, yeah. Baba Ganoush, or sorry, Babbage no. Ganoush, Babbage Ganoush. Babbage Ganoush Jr. asks, Junior. amazing name, by the way. That's um, excellent name. Uh, would you Good be job. against farming in Star Citizen to be akin to farm sim hands-on in the dirt work using vehicles to tend and harvest and such? Or something no. much more streamlined like a pod or a bot that manages it, it and just you ma- micromanage nutrients and water and sunlight? Both. Either one is fine. Yeah. I mean, like, there's plenty of, like, survival mechanics you could steal from other games. Yeah. Like... The, like, for instance, Ark is pretty simple. You plant a, sh- uh, a seed in a box, and in that box, you have make sure you have water going to it, and then you put shit on top of it for, for nutrients, or or you you, yeah. you compost it to turn it into shit. Those are both... Uh, yes, you did, Bree. <laughs> um, but uh, incoming... Dis- uh, there we go. He's there back. Go. He's back. Welcome. Um, man, Discord, dis- man. Either Discord, Discord. Or, or, or my internet is just not good. But it's 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 simple. You have to, you know, you, it's not too bad because you you, you kind of have to kind of tend it a little bit. Uh, you don't want something that's too complicated. So something that is, you go, you, you have an area that you can plot out and build, like a like a planter box or like a like a a, a geodesic dome or something like that mm-hmm. with the pioneer, and then you go and you make sure you plant every all the seeds, um, you know, in the spots, or you have have it plant seeds and then just manage nutrient levels every so often that's fine you know i think that's 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 good the the hard part is taking that and then turning it into consumables or craftables i think that would be the the more more complex part you'd you'd like to have um i uh i'm really curious to see what they do with that kind of game mechanic um but uh i i really think that they should continue with their um 
I, I actually think their their track record so far in game mechanics is pretty good. Um, especially with mining. I think they did a beautiful job with mining, so I'm uh, I'm curious to see what we get there. Uh, last one is Citizen Tepitarius asks, Now all the planets of Stanton are on the roadmap. Do you have an idea of which one will be your home base? Frosty Boys. Microtech. Microtech. Lorville. Microtech. But going back to the last question. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Have you not guys Lorville. ever? Um, Area 18. Freaking, no, Crusader. Oh, um, uh, or Orson. 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 Yeah. yeah. Orison, yeah. Cloud City, baby. Cloud, Cloud City. City, baby. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but I'm still You're microtech. right. You're absolutely. Yes. Um, like. but have you guys ever played this game called Signal Simulator? I have not. What I've is that like? It. It's it's kind of like uh, you're you're working for SETI or like a a radio telescope, mm -hmm. and you're trying to search for for alien signals and all that. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a signal uh, a seti simulator but in terms of like uh, uh horror culture or agriculture mm -hmm. whatever i would think like systems within there should should be able to translate into that because in there you have to wipe the uh the solar panels to get better power efficiencies mm -hmm. you have to you have to do a bunch of busy work but that's what i think for for, for that I, previous i agree I think I think I think that the the whole farming thing should be one part of running a successful farm, like mm -hmm. having to manage power sources, water drilling, and water supply. Um, those all things that will go into just you know, and then you just manage the nutrients of the farm. But like the thing about a like you've got to think about mining and farming in uh, with outposts as something similar to. It's it's an outpost is the is the game yep. mode. Yep. It's not farming and mining. It's outpost, and then the outpost is how you have to kind of break things up and get you people do to go do things. Kind of have to take into account to the like the endeavor farming stuff. So is it going to be exactly the same as the ground, or is there some differences? You know, I, I'd imagine it's going to be the same. I imagine like the 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 domes and the endeavor will just be something you build with a pioneer, you know, or something yeah. similar. Yeah, something that's. <laughs> you're damn right no <laughs> um so that's it for our show today um uh go watch paul here he does a show too and we really like his show table. yeah it's called the captain's mm -hmm. table it's in what three hours i got that right right uh yes, yes. It's in three hours awesome so. go watch uh go watch paul uh, um it's Nighthawk and Darsh today, boy. Excellent. And then on next Tuesday, or this Tuesday, we're actually having a special episode with um, Salty Mike. Salty Mike. Uh, uh, Algrid from the Info Runners and uh, HG Vertigo. So it's awesome. going to be an interesting. Ooh, that's just because be a really I, good one. Because I found out that I was at, uh, like, I have 43 or 41 episodes if unless I did a special episode, if I did a special episode, I'd have exactly forty-two episodes <laughs> like, awesome. for this year. Like, yes, um, that is the thing. Thank you very much to uh, Paul and uh, Bryce Arena for joining us, uh, being our guests today. Um, Not me. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just the worst. You're you're yeah. part of Relay, man. Like, that's true. <laughs> thank you jake for coming on i was, I was, um, I was just teasing <laughs> um but uh yeah shiver is beginning his great migration um so he might be offline for a bit here but uh and david is a, is swimming in um a sea of disgusting you know anyway <laughs> he has a baby <laughs> yes he has a baby, baby. Yeah. um baby so uh jake do your thing Hey! <laughs> Push the buttons. <laughs> oh, uh, you. Like, let me do this. Let me do this. Watching on YouTube, you should be liking, subscribing. Hit tick, tickle that little bell icon. Tickle it. Just nice. Just, it. just gently caress, caress it. it because smell it. 
because because that's how you know these videos come out on time. So you can be the first person to go down in the comments yeah. and type out first or talk talk about how uh, <laughs> we have no idea what we're talking about and and you know do everything to the, and explain you exactly what you would say if you were on the yeah. on, on on the or in the relay station. You know you love it. You want to do that. You want to be there. Now, and of course, yeah. Now, if you want to tell us that in real time that we have bad opinions and <laughs> are are the worst and are ugly and uh smelly and various other insults um you know uh please like us on twitch it's the the heart button up there it's wait this nope that way <laughs> this one yes uh also yeah. the bell to let uh, you know when we go live also if you want to plaster david's face everywhere you go please go ahead and hit subscribe twitch prime give us your fake dollars um that <laughs> give us the jeff us. bezos money give us the thick yeah. daddy bezos money okay which gives us hosting for the audio for our podcast listeners so thank you very much to all who support the show Yes. Uh, please join us on Discord, uh, where we have spoiler channels for Star Wars, Marvel, and The Expanse. So if you want to talk <laughs> yeah. about all three of those things, <laughs> we have dedicated safe spaces for those. Um, it's a great time. The Discord is probably my favorite part of this community, so mm -hmm. please join us. Come hang out. Um yeah, discord.gg slash relay sc because Discord hates underscores. Mm -hmm. And uh, or you could push the button that is below. And most of all, I want to say thank you to all of our viewers today for coming in an hour early or for trying to come an hour yes. early or in the case of Discavian missing the first half of the show. <laughs> Sorry. Our our viewership <laughs> our viewership was the exact same. So you guys are yeah. the best thank, thank you, you so, much so much for coming and we will see you next week yeah if there's anything to to podcast next week uh we'll take keep an eye on but i'm probably gonna have a show uh next weekend so uh yeah come and join so, us at something the, will happen come and join us at the regular time join Bye. the dis the discord thank you fast cart for the sub yes we will leave you all with a wiggle <laughs>